वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज केटिया फॉर एवरीवन चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हिट द बेल आइकॉन एंड कीप सपोर्टिंग मी डू वॉच एवरी वीडियो कंप्लीटली बिकॉज यू विल फाइंड लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन दैट सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर लेट स्टार्ट मल्टी सेक्शन सॉलिड एंड रिमूव मल्टी सेक्शन सॉलिड सो फॉर दैट वी नीड मल्टी सेक्शंस दैट मीन्स you need different sketches in different planes for that let's select plane offset from plane let it be some 30 mm and one more plane offset from this plane in 30 mm one more plane offset from this plane and that's 30 mm yeah this would be sufficient i think so let's select bottom plane first we come position sketch go to projection point we come this so today let's create a tower using multi section sketching so what would be the base of tower it would be in ellipse so i am creating an ellipse here yeah let's find good to see and for multi section you have to specify points on your sketch that's very important so i am specifying points so four points point number 1 point number 2 and two more points Uh, some yeah select the point in profile toolbar now specify the point point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 and point number 4 yeah that's fine click on exit workbench so after ellipse what comes is smaller ellipse in the next section click on the plane right above the bottom plane click on projection point select origin remember the horizontal and vertical directions they should be in similar way vertical must be this side horizontal must be this side in every sketch only then the thing you have drawn will be perfectly executed so one more ellipse okay and then specify some four points point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 point number 4 that's done then exit the sketch okay after ellipse we will have a rectangle so let's take a rectangle there the projection point click on the origin and then okay so let's create a square there this must be square let's construct this let's make it on 15 and this is some 15 that's done and also you need to specify points Point one, point two, point three, point four. So remember, never select these corners because your sketch will be somewhat disturbed. The selected point should be in the same line. See this one, this one, this one. Then you will get a beautiful sketch. 
so last one that will be a circle select the plane and then projection point that's origin and okay so go to circle select a small circle there that's fine specify the diameter even so that will be constrained let's keep it for yeah now see the magic go to multi section solid section 1 section 2 section 3 okay, this was not closed it seems let's edit so let's remove the square here because you don't have to specify the points for square if you specify points it will be separated so i am deleting it won't be a single sketch i am drawing one more circle here and then i am specifying the points Two, three. Before I'll just constrain this, let's make it uh, some team that would be better. Now, this top one, even for this, we have to specify the points, select point, let's zoom it so that we can one. Two, three, then four. Yeah, that's done. So let's try it. Let's uh, multi-section this. So if this doesn't work, we have to draw guide curves using the points. Yeah, it's done. But you just see this is not so symmetrical. For that, let's draw the guide curve. Then it looks good. Select the point. The point. Okay. And then point to point. Click on OK. And then again from this point, this point to this point. Okay, now let's check if this would create a good sketch. Select multi section, section one, section two, section three, then section four. In this guide, you have to select the Guide. let's preview this okay there is an error in mathematical package that means the software is showing some error let's cancel okay let's try a single guide with four multi sections two three four and then in guide I am selecting a single one let's preview this okay, this is not happening so without a guide we have to do or we have to do multi section separately I will show you let's first do these both and then guide ok you can see this now oh, it's somewhat perfect and again click on multi section curve number one curve number two and in guide select this one see somewhat good there is one more guide this side will look still more better so let's draw one more guide this side yeah. yes this and this and 
this okay we have two more guides i think sketch will look still still good so i'm creating another guide here so it's not a big task even you can understand must be careful while selecting the points otherwise they may intersect and cause a clumsiness so select a guide this one okay so i have created all the guides in similar way now let's use this multi section section 1 section 2 and now let's select all the guides carefully rotate and select yeah no see your sketch will be absolutely looking good with all the dimensions perfect go to guides one guide two guide three guide four see again sketch one sketch two come to guides guide one guide two guide three guide four guide is nothing but the line that you give it will be followed connecting both the profiles that means your profile will be within the guide see now just check your top now oh, it's beautiful yeah right it's looking great similar to this you have multi section remove so that you can make a group or something like this oh i'll show you select similar to this you will make a group yeah that's it you can practice you just draw a small ellipse in this and one more small ellipse in this small circle in this and another circle and then you just do multi section you will get a multi section remove that means it removes the material in multi section man so that's it thank you for watching keep watching the lectures for more interesting videos when you are done with part next lecture i will be explaining you these dress up features so they are this one fillet and then chamfer draft shell all these these will give a dress up that means they will make your sketch some more beautiful so they are called dress up features and after that you will be having these uh, transformation features so these are used to mirror your objects pattern i will be explaining everything and we will be designing a good sketch good part after this and then we will move to surface designing in that i will be showing you everything the dam there comes the real designing here it's like designing cars aeroplanes bikes giant shapes everything everything you can design in part you can design mechanical components like uh, gears clutches piston rings piston rod or everything in next sketch i will be designing piston rod piston cup and uh, inside piston head everything and we will be using these features to dress up that we will we will be again using every one of the sketch based features and transformation features we will be covering them drawing a piston assembly simply or say engine assembly okay thank you the next video will be more exciting get ready to watch it thank you guys thank you for watching subscribe my channel hit the bell icon keep sharing to every one of your friends who is studying engineering mainly mechanical aerospace aeronautics not not civil engineering ship building it's really useful for them you can get good jobs you have good life okay thank you keep subscribing my channel thank you